follow up on my prior video on my balcony solar panel setup. I'm currently getting about 175 watts. Um, I've seen it go up to almost 200, um, and I'm not in 100% ideal condition, so I'm pretty happy with this performance. So this is the setup here. As you can see, I've got two of the anchor 200 watt solar panels hung up in my balcony here. And um, I think this performs a lot better than if I have the solar panels on the floor because the floor is always shaded as, you, as you've seen in my prior videos. So I get better performance with them hung up like this because they're not shaded. The only negative to this is that I can't really adjust the angle and the solar panels will always perform better if you're able to adjust the angle so that they're pointing directly at the sun for maximum, you know, sun power. So, um, you know, I'd have to say that this is performing pretty well and I'm pretty happy with this. I wanted to get about 200 watts and I'm getting about that. Sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less, but this is nice because they're not in the shade. Um, although I can't really adjust the angle, it does seem to work pretty well. Now it's not, you know, super pretty as you can see here, but it is highly functional, so it works pretty well. And then if I want, I can take one panel down and uh, just use one of them if I want, you know, access to a better view or I just don't want to put both of them up or if I want more light into the room. Um, but yeah, it does change uh, throughout the course of the day naturally as the sun changes the angle. And it will also depend on the weather as well. Like today it's pretty hazy and it's the winter time, so the sun is not 100% ideal. But, um, you know, it's not bad at this angle. It's also not directly facing the panels. As it gets lower in the sky, I anticipate this setup to perform maybe even a little bit better. So again, with two 200 watt anchor foldable solar panels, I'm currently getting, and it went down to about 128. Um, maybe there's a cloud in between me and the sun, but you know, I was getting up to around 200. Now, the other thing I did is I removed the stands the foldable stands from the solar panels because I'm not putting them on the floor. Um, and it makes it lighter to lift up because I do, when I, when I install these, I do have to lift them like above my head. So without the stands, it's just a little bit easier. The stands on these are completely removable and replaceable. So I just removed the stands just to make it a little bit of a lighter, you know, solar panel to, uh, to hang up. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with this setup. And again, um, it, under less than ideal conditions that I have here, I think it's performing pretty well. So you ask, what are the ideal conditions? The ideal conditions would be full access to the sky. As you can see, I have a roof here, you know, the, um, the awning here. So if I had full access to the sky, I'd be able to set these up on the ground and angle them directly to the sun. And that would be ideal. So as you can see here, I don't hardly have full access to the sky at all. I only have this uh, part of the sky. It's, it is a south-facing uh, balcony here. So I think in general, this is a pretty good setup given the fact uh, of my conditions that I have here. And um, I have hung these up with mounting brackets and carabiners, and I've also got adjustable bungee cables, bungee cords here to sort of attach it to the railing so it's not you know, blowing in the wind very much. Uh, and I'll post links to all this kind of hardware as well, um, but it's pretty useful. And again, let's see what I'm getting now. Just in the course of this video, it's currently 141. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna vary a bit, but I'm pretty happy with the performance uh, of what I'm getting under these conditions. Questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.